up guys, it's Slayer Exclusive here, back with another uh, video. Today we're going to be starting off with uh, Life is Strange. Um, this is definitely one of my uh, favorite um, adventure games, probably of all time. They're very similar to uh, the Telltale games, and they're freaking awesome. Um, this game is a little bit uh, different than the Telltale games, because it's more interactive and there's a lot more um, actions and, uh, that you can take. Um, it is about a girl named Max who loves photography and kind of just gives you an insight into her life and some of her interesting special powers. So yeah, as always, check out the description for more information on the game. And uh, let's get this started. Alright, so I'm going to start a new game and let's go. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. That is indeed true. <laughs> hey, Millie. So surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. These I'm in class. Everything's cool. Room. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because Arbus. of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. M. Shh, shh, shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if our I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. She could have taken another approach. I have to I do admit. love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of post-war beat America. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful <laughs> photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. 
Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? I did know. <laughs> Melly, she's so cute. <laughs> yeah, right? She is... Um, I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this uh, or not, Max. Is there damn, anybody bro. here right. who knows their stuff? Rude. Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces making them extremely popular from the 1800s on. Sorry, Max. The no more American selfies right now. Self-portrait was done by <laughs> Robert <laughs> Cornelius. You can I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Textbook. Or even on... If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Huh. Let's see, do you want to read all this? July 10th, 2013. I got accepted into Blackwell Academy. If words could dance, this would be a rave. <laughs> Even though I've never been to one, but who cares? Because I got into Blackwell Academy. I didn't think I would be so excited since it's not like I didn't used to live in the same town. But when I saw the text from the Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally feel, feel my pulse speed up. I thought I was going to say, sorry, thanks for playing. It took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy that last moment of blissful ignorance. And when I saw the first word, congratulations, I think I screamed. My mom cried and my dad laughed. They're so weird, but they're happy and this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay in anything to Blackwell. This means new clothes and if I can work it, a new laptop. Oh, and I have to keep telling myself in caps that I'm going to Blackwell Academy. <laughs> August 18th, 2013. So this is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Usually people go to high school closest to home. I suppose I am too. It's just I haven't lived there for five years. Out of all the best photography programs in the world, I chose to go to the smallest. Back in the town, I was excited about leaving. <laughs> Maybe I wanted to come back all along just to see if Chloe and I are still even friends. But I do wish Chloe could have moved with us to Seattle. That city was made for her. We would play pirates in our rooms and in the woods. It seemed like Seattle was that fabled faraway island of treasure and adventure that we were always seeking with coffee shops. <laughs> but Seattle wasn't like a fable. Uh, now, Blackwell Academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world. To study photography under Mark Jefferson. <laughs> Insert hearts and flowers. Plus, there will be cool, diverse students from everywhere. I w it won't be like my high school now. I never really found a groove with my classmates or boys. I'm lucky I have a couple of great friends here, but it's time to ship out. So maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be the island of treasure and adventure I've been looking for. August 25th, 2013. Shit is crazy here. I didn't realize how much crap I had to pack until I had to pack all my crap. <laughs> Mom and Dad are getting a little too excited. I'm clearing out my room. Though I caught Mom crying when she was packing my shirts. That made me want to cry like a little girl and never leave Seattle. So instead of packing, I feel like burning all my clothes, then just raiding a thrift store to build up a new Max wardrobe over my junior year. Not that I even have an old Max wardrobe. Nobody will know me except for Chloe and who knows how different we are now. So I can cut my hair, get a tat and some piercings, maybe date a cute foreign exchange artist from Paris or Rome. I could do anything, unless I get busted. <laughs> and there will be so many super cool chances for my photography to get exposed. Thinking about that is when I get scared. Uh, but excited, and then I don't feel like crying at all. I get tingles down my arms, sensing the universe opening up for me. I can't wait to leave. I just want things to be different at Blackwell. September 2nd, 2013. My first entry from my new dorm room the night before my first day at Blackwell. Phew, I haven't had any time to write or even take pictures since I got here. My shit is in boxes all over the room, which is small, but mine. And I never want to leave. I can't wait to decorate. I plan a whole wall of photos. I... I did meet some of my dorm mates, though I suck at remembering names, so I won't bother right now. But I think I can already see who's going to be cool to me and who's not. It's a bitch trying to get settled into a new school and social scene after I finally found good friends in Seattle. But I'm here now, and this is the start of my new life. Sweet dreams. Let's see, September 3rd, 2013. Blackwell sucks ass. I told myself not to whine so soon, but damn. 
The day started like Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start my first official day of my new life. Like a dork, I couldn't figure out what to wear, so I chose what was on the floor. I'm no good with names and faces right away, but I picked up some names like Kate, Brooke, Taylor, Alyssa. And how could I forget Victoria Chase? Rich, stylish, and titled. I could feel instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy ass clothes, as if I'm at Blackwell to strike fashion poses. Maybe I'm being extra crispy sensitive, but I think Victoria wants life here to be like her own reality show. Ugh. <laughs> so that wasn't fun, along with, with my general social unease. I thought it would be easier being back. Call the ambulance. <laughs> I don't want this day to end all. Woe is Max. It was incredible to walk across the green campus in the morning mist. I love the stone steps and brick walls of Blackwell. Everything is a picture waiting to be taken. Speaking of, at least one great thing did happen today. Mr. Jefferson's photography class. Hi. <laughs> There's more to tell, but journal, forgive me, I'm truly wiped out. September 4th. I have an ass load of homework already. So much bullshit. At least give us noobs a day to acclimate. But to prove I'm not a total loser, I made a new friend in my science class. His name is Warren Graham, and he's a serious geek. Plus, he's dark and witty. He comes across as kind of a know-it-all, but it turns out he does, does kind of know it a lot. We talked about photographers, and he actually named a few I'd never heard of. We traded numbers, and he'll be a good study partner, or a good friend. I'll need at least one based on the, the click action here. I thought being 18 meant I didn't have to deal with those teenage drama anymore. I thought. At least I get to research famous photographers for first for some of my homework. Mr. Jefferson assigned us a ton of reading. But this is exactly what I want to study. Jefferson is super cool and super chill. He doesn't try to be too hip, just says what he thinks and expects us to as well. I think he's a genius. Oh my god, I want to marry him. <laughs> just joking. This one class is worth all the social dysfunction. September 15th. Homework is kicking my ass. I bet the teachers grade harder just to stop you from feeling special. Victoria Chase and her snob minions still front like their honored guests of Blackwell. The bros here aren't that different. Nathan Prescott is Victoria's male clone with way more money and attitude, if that's possible. His family is the oldest in Arcadia Bay, and I heard stories about them when I was a kid. The Prescotts give a shitload of bank to Blackwell, so Nathan acts like he literally owns the school. Yesterday during class, he put his feet on the desk, started texting, and the teacher didn't say, Jack. That's fucked up. <laughs> Way ambulance, yeah. <laughs> These freaking journal entries are funny. I get suspended, but him and Victoria are part of this silly elite vortex club that puts on popular parties and so they get their way. It's good to be the king and queen. I don't want to slam everybody. I do like Kate Marsh. She's down the hall and in one of my classes. She's so pretty and sweet and friendly. It makes her more beautiful than the biatches here like Victoria who think beauty is just her face and outfit. See? I'm already playing their drama games. No more. <laughs> Finally had a chance, sub September 23rd. Finally had a chance to take some actual shots around campus today. A perfect blue sky day. I always forget how great I feel after I take pictures when I've been slacking off. Speaking of pictures, Mr. Jefferson told us about the National Everyday Heroes photo contest he wants us all to enter. The winner gets a trip to San Francisco and lots of publicity. He wants just one for photograph from each student. This is exactly why I wanted to come to Blackwell, and of course I'm scared shitless to enter. At least I have a couple weeks before the deadline October, so I have plenty of time to stress and procrastinate. <laughs> September 30th. I don't know whether I love it or hate it here. I'm trying to keep up with my science class of all things. Like I give a shit or even understand it. Good thing I know Warren. Too bad I can't clone him to take my place in class. <laughs> Ms. Grant is much cooler than the class. She explains particle physics so even boneheads like me can kind of understand. I love how she relates society to science and vice versa. See, that's a good teacher right there. I can tell she's committed and passionate about life, unlike some of us in her class. But I'm trying to engage more, even if it means asking actual questions in class, instead of hiding in the back. I'm glad, I'm just glad I'm not the only social misfit here. Now, how much homework are you avoiding? <laughs> October 1st. October, my favorite month. The best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames. But it's still too damn hot. Thanks, global warming. And <laughs> I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon. Kate, let me borrow The October Country by Ray Brad Bradbury. I haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my geek cred before I held up my copy of Battle Royale. But he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. The last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures in one of my old albums. 
I should find a real Halloween party to cry so I can experience some social mingling. It's that or a Vortex Club Stroke Fest swimming party. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> or is that Backstroke Fest? You so fun- Punny Max? <laughs> you so punny Max? At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks of Blackwell Academy. As my parents love telling me on a loop, you have all the time in the world. <laughs> That's friggin' cool. So you got Max, Jefferson, Kate, and Victoria. Oh, damn, there's like a bio biography of each of them. Episode 1. Got photos. The collectibles. Oh. These collectibles as well. And they got texts on her phone. Huh. Dad, have a very special 18th birthday. You're an adult now, but you're still our little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. <laughs> Kate. That's her, one of her good friends. Hey Max, you're around. Oh, is you okay? Did you want to get tea later today? Absolutely, I'll be free after four. Talk to you later. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <laughs> what the hell? It's kind of a douchebag, huh? Even her school books are gift-wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. Freaking tablet. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Bruh. It's a five thousand dollar camera. What the fuck? Oh my god. The GRLT sixty four S. With all the speed and power expected from a new greenlit, the GRLT sixty four S is packed with expanded features and manageability. It shoots what you want, where you want, straight out of the camera. JPEG images already have superb quality, including a new level of depth, sharpness, and malleability. <laughs> Must be nice, yep. <laughs> $5,000 for a camera, here you go, it's nothing. It's that printer change. is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. <laughs> Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. That's pretty cool. Photoshop. Hey, Kate. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Hope I didn't embarrass you. You seem quiet today. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. Victoria has already won. Wanna grab a cup of tea? I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Alright. Let's talk later, Max. Paper ball. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Dear Kate, we love your porn video. What? XOXO Black Look at the fuck, man? My god, that's intense. Etched huh. marks. This might make a cool shot. Rachel Amber forever. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those <laughs> sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? <laughs> so cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. It's cool. Snaps, Mark Jefferson's noir beauty. Film versus digital, who will win? 
Who will win indeed? Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. <laughs> She's passionate about what she loves. It's good. Mr. Jefferson. Even in sure. pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. It does. Eerie. You can never escape the lighthouse here. I can wait. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid That's 20 grand camera. for that camera. I bet he gets Jeez. pristine digital images. But I still dig my oh little God. instant camera. 20,000. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't <laughs> wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. HDTV. You can tell this game is old. <laughs> Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Are you an everyday hero? Find out. Enter to win. Everyday Heroes Photo Contest. Submit an image that best represents yourself or others in heroic action. Deadline, October 9th, 2013. Yeah, this game is old. <laughs> the winner will fly to San Francisco and represent their school in the National Everyday Heroes Competition at the Zeitgeist Gallery on October 11th, 2013. You may submit one image on an improved paper for consideration. For those 18 and under, a parent permission form must be included with the image. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think oh. about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Okay, damn, bro. I wasn't trying to, actually. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. <laughs> Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. In her head, she probably fucking is. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Miss, what the fuck do I do? <laughs> she's definitely is talking that shit. And yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> It did, it did. Alright, so... Where... Did I just leave?